we are doing a famous, famous Connecticut, Connecticut food, food tour. tour. Woo. Woo. Now we're starting off with a not famous at all, but it should be place, Alora's <laughs> Cafe. Alora's Coffee. Yeah, it's been the best drink we've ever had. They have, well I have here a, a pumpkin spice. And, that it's their take on pumpkin spice. Yeah, it's a homemade Venado, syrup. I think. Yeah, homemade syrup. It tastes just like pumpkin pie. And I have their take on a golden milk latte, which is perfect because if you guys know me, I am not on the caffeine train any longer. So this is a wonderful blend of spices and almond milk. It's a lot of turmeric, like heavy on the turmeric side, like a golden milk latte, and I love it. It's actually the best golden milk latte I've ever had. Cheers. Mm. Oh God, so good. This is good yesterday. I wish that this was back home. I, <laughs> I, I love know. it so much. We might have to stop again tomorrow <laughs> before we leave. We have to. <laughs> it's so good. Well, today we have a jam-packed day coming for you. We're gonna go to like four or five spots that are supposed to be pretty popular. In some cases, world-renowned. Exactly. Four of their different types of food. And uh, you know we love food, so we couldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Did we go to Connecticut if we didn't do a food store? Mm, Not sure. I risk it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People just keep getting nicer and nicer around here. This day is getting better and better. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incredibly nice people and some insane looking donuts. It's the size of my face. I'm so excited. We got coffee and donuts uh -huh. with an A-N apostrophe. Yes. It is famous. There are pictures of famous people who are visiting from all over. Bill Clinton Everywhere. heavily represented. And we asked like, what do you guys recommend? Nobody who worked there answered. Two people who were also shopping there jumped in and were like, you have to get this cream And they both donut. said different things. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, everything. Yeah. The one woman said everything. Get yeah, everything. Seriously, these people are, you look them up online and you gotta go here. It's classic, it's cash only, so remember to bring some cash. Yeah. It has just like simple but elegant donuts. It's actually in a pretty unassuming building on kind of a quiet corner. There's a parking lot here, so don't worry about it. There was a line, um, probably for COVID reasons, because they had a lot of the inside kind of marked off, but it went super quickly. We gotta try okay. some of these donuts. Give me that. Ah! I'm going first this time. <laughs> this is a classic chocolate covered glazed donut. And it was highly recommended both online and in person. Really? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I've never seen you have a face like that before. It's really good. No way. Mm -hmm. Very simple, very good. That's exciting. Yep, the chocolate's really sweet and chocolatey. I love chocolate, as if anybody doesn't know at this point. And the dough is very fresh. Yeah, it's, nice. like, it's like cakey. Like it's not, it's not flaky, but I like it. Like it's really good. Very traditional, very fun. My mouth is watering, I must have more. <laughs> Should I try my coconut one? Mm-hmm. I heard on one of the reviews online that they have the best coconut donut in the world. So I had to get this beautiful coconut twist. Whoa. Ah, look at it. Do it's you something want, like, else. This? This is pretty, um, oh yeah. Before I bite it. Yeah, look at it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. This is loaded with coconut. This is the most coconut I've ever seen on a donut in my entire life. I'm very excited. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. This is like a classic original baked bread donut with a little bit of a glaze and the coconut flake stuck to it and it is so good it's so good it really lets the coconut flavor speak for itself i might eat this whole thing that's a problem mm. yeah this is really good i think you might even like this i'm gonna have to try that too yeah, you have to try it soon <laughs> right soon <laughs> i'm going back you're going back I'm right back <laughs> Two more glazed. Oh my god. Do you want to tell the kind people what just happened? If there was ever proof that I'm not lying about these donuts, I went and I bought more. We got six. And I went back inside and I got two more donuts. We haven't even left the parking lot yet. 
This place rocks! <laughs> They're really good. They're really good. Really, 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 really good. Get this glazed donut. Get as many as you can, as many as they'll let you get. Get that many. It's not that expensive. No, it's not. You have savings. For this. You have it. I know you. You're good for it. Just go. <laughs> unassuming bag has a big piece of history in it and hopefully something delicious. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We have made our way up to New Haven, Connecticut, about mm -hmm. 45 minutes north of where we were before in Norwalk and we're at Old Yale. It's really nice like right in the middle of the heart of the downtown and a lot of cool places to go. Mm -hmm. There's a guy playing a saxophone, a lot it's of a people just hanging setting. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very much a Saturday morning chill vibe here now. And to compliment that, one of the most classic lunch spots in America. So we have what I think is called Lewis's lunch. Yeah, we're not quite sure of the pronunciation <laughs> due to I'm confused about the apostrophe is. <laughs> yeah, English is hard. Uh, <laughs> but we have Lewis's lunch, which is a super historical spot because this is actually the home of the first hamburger sandwich. Of course, we had to get an original hamburger sandwich and they don't really offer a lot of customizations here. Really what the works is, is just cheese lettuce tomato and i think onion actually no lettuce even oh, like, no lettuce. just tomato cheese oh, you're right. onion. Mm -hmm. oh that's so odd to me mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and so. it's either you take it or you don't i even yeah. saw a sign it was like this is not burger king you do not get to have it your way it said that that's it says that you funny. have it our way or you don't have it at all oh i missed it and i mm -hmm. I think I like it their way because this looks amazing. This looks mm -hmm. so good. It's even just served on toasted white bread so that, yeah. that you can experience the flavors of the proprietary meat blend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited to give this a try. Can I bite mm -hmm. into this? Let's do it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, they also don't ask how you like the meat cooked, so I'm wondering if this is going to be pretty rare. You can tell that it's. People eat meat. <laughs> that's, but that is a uh, medium. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not used to eating medium done meat. It is definitely a little juicier. I like things like really like burnt and dry. For some reason, I'm very odd, but it's super flavorful because of all of the juices. And I love that there's actually not a lot on it. They're right, the seasoning on the meat is pretty spectacular. It's really good. I can't even like, I have nothing to compare the taste to. It's Ooh. just probably like the best actual hamburger I've had in my life. Nice. Yeah. It really lets the meat speak for itself. You're like, you gotta let me give a shot. Like, well, you gotta get your own then. <laughs> <laughs> Break it into mine. It's a little less toasted than yours. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it's so simple. I feel like we're on like an American classic store. The plain donut. The plain burger. We're gonna get a plain pizza. Spoiler alert. But it's so good. If you do the simple things right, it can be even better than something absolutely crazy and it really is final review definitely a little undercooked for my uh preference it's it's my <laughs> fault it's not there hey man it's totally valid if you just prefer more well done meat it doesn't, do. doesn't make anybody wrong <laughs> it just makes me have a sandwich and a half and i'm more than happy with the outcome we have to go do some walking before our next food stop. Before lunch part two. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so full. Mm -hmm. Donuts for breakfast, no matter how good they are. Oh, it's never a well, good idea. Three By of the them. time you hit lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it. Okay. Oops, we're in bed again. We had to come home <laughs> for multiple reasons. Mm -hmm. So we actually picked up a pizza from Sally's Pizza, which I a think pizza. is- A pizza. I think it's a beats. <laughs> a pizza. Sure. <laughs> That's what it says. That's what it says. So that <laughs> word, however we say it, is mm -hmm. the terminology for what they're calling New Haven Pizza. So mm -hmm. there's kind of like this long, Standoff between Sally's Pizza and Frank Pepe's Pizza, mm -hmm. and they're right down the street from each other, much like <laughs> Gino's and Pat's 
Hashtag Pat's Life in yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah, they have these like two historic pizza places right next to each other. But it was hyper, hyper packed. So busy. They did have outdoor dining, so I think that's where a lot of the people came from. But definitely too busy for us and also, our preference. We ordered a small pie and an hour and a half in advance. Yeah, that's like, true. that was it's the soonest. Long. The pickup time was like, all right, 90 minutes. We're like, whoa okay <laughs> like it, it was it was popping yeah but what can you expect when it's frank sinatra's one of his favorite places yeah it's rumored to be we've looked it up online they say when you go in the restaurant there's pictures of frank sinatra going to that restaurant because they've been at that location since 1938 um and they actually still cook the pizza in the same oven that they used back then but um we didn't get to see the picture because the the restaurant is closed we did like a curbside pickup mm -hmm. but i am perfectly happy eating yeah. pizza in bed <laughs> let's see if frank sinatra has good taste in pizza yeah let's see <laughs> <laughs> smells really good we're in a debate as whether or not this looks unique i'm in the camp that it does you tell me is this a unique looking pizza <laughs> i'm i'm saying yeah Let's see if it tastes unique though. Now that is good pizza, but maybe it's being from New Jersey. Oh no. It tastes like, it just tastes like a good pizza. Like a lot of other pizza. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like a really good bar pizza. It's like a beer pizza. Mm. It's not like I have to wait an hour and a half to get this particular slice of pizza. It, it like I would I would just get the regular slice of pizza and it's very it's close enough it just doesn't necessarily for me differentiate itself to be like this holy grail of pizza necessarily all right I gotta try mm -hmm. let me get in here now I'm not a pizza snob I did not grow up in New Jersey I grew up in a very rural place in Pennsylvania where the best pizza I knew was just like microwave pizza so <laughs> Maybe it'll be better for me. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little sweet. Did you pick up on that? Oh yeah. It's a the little sauce, sweet. Which yeah, I the like. Sauce is sweet. That's something that I like. I do like that. Now the it's the texture that's different for me. The taste is good. That's definitely good pizza. But the texture was different for me than other pizzas. It was a little like doughier, but it has crispy bottom. And I don't know if I've really had pizza that's kind of mastered both like crispy and doughy. This one did do that. Now I love a doughy pizza. I'm like I'm telling you I grew up on bad pizza like stuffed crust pizza hut pizza. <laughs> so I love a doughy pizza which I like this. And now when we ordered it there were options and it was like do you want the standard bake or a crispy bake? And we went with the standard bake and I think that's what this is. Where it's crispy on the bottom you definitely get a taste of the coal fire and it's still like a little doughy in the middle which was like a cool experience actually i actually really like this definitely good pizza i would say if you're in connecticut get it maybe you don't have to come up from new york to get it <laughs> i don't know about that it is kind of just regular pizza but um it's just cool to try like a slice of history too that's what was fun about this connecticut oh my pizza. gosh like these are just regular versions of typical american foods but, Done to their their peak. Yeah, to the peak. So that's really cool. This is this is made in an ancient oven, and Frank Sinatra tasted this. That's right. If anything, the food and like experiences that you can have in Connecticut are really historical they are. and uh, definitely worth having. Mm -hmm. This is a, a great kind of trip to have yeah. um, if you're up coming up through Connecticut. Make mm -hmm. sure to hit all these kind of like classic stops and see the origins of a lot of food. <laughs> yes, and 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 and. Now, we, if this is the first video in our Connecticut series that you're seeing, go back and watch the last couple ones because we definitely featured a vegan restaurant that's, right. that's here. There's just so much other good food here. We actually had really awesome ramen. We had really good pho. Connecticut is actually kind of surprisingly an underdog for some really awesome food. So I'm going to chow down on the rest of this pizza yeah. and then probably go right to bed because I'm already in bed. We're that's, already in bed. That's the convenient thing about pizza in bed is that <laughs> you can know. just... Slowly <laughs> as the pizza goes down, fall backwards and... <sighs> I don't need a pizza to nap, but I'll take it. <laughs> well, thanks for tagging along on our Connecticut series. This is actually the last of it. Mm -hmm. I We're hope you guys home. had fun in Connecticut with us. We certainly had a blast. Mm -hmm. We will definitely be back. We left enough on the table to do again for, for sure. another trip. So check out the other videos if you haven't yet. And... 
Maybe. We'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, we'll catch Whatever, you in the next one. Wherever we are next. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know yet, so we'll figure it out together. <laughs> See ya. Bye.